Hello my favorite ladies and welcome back to a new video. I'm Urania and in today's video we are talking about self-discipline. And the reason I wanted to talk about this topic is that this is a self-improvement channel for feminine women. So it's important for us to know how we can become disciplined because wanting to improve your life and wanting to level up and become the next best version of yourself can be very challenging if you don't have any discipline. So that being said, ladies, let's get straight into today's video. To have a better feeling of today's topic, let's look at the definition. Self-discipline, the ability to delay instant gratification in favor of accomplishing long-term goals. I want you to know that you deserve to become the very best version of yourself. And that is what this channel is all about. It's about improving yourself. And in order to get there, you need to have self-discipline and establish healthy habits that will serve you. Self-discipline is also so important because when we are constantly asking ourselves to do things we don't always feel like doing, this helps us to actually reach goals that we are unable to reach without self-discipline. And when you adopt new habits that help you become the best version of yourself, that will help you to develop your self-discipline muscle. There are many benefits to having more self-discipline. And I would like to share with you three of my favorites. Number one, having more self-discipline will reduce anxiety. Because when you have self-discipline, you know what you need to focus on and you are in control of your emotions. This will help you to not stress about things that don't even matter. And on top of that, it will be more easy to make decisions. The second benefit of having more self-discipline is that it will increase your ability to achieve your short-term and long-term goals. Because you are proactively removing temptation and you are avoiding self-sabotaging behaviors. And this will help you when it comes to studying, working, or managing your money. You will be able to prioritize what's important and work smarter. And the third benefit, and that's my favorite, is that when you have more self-discipline, you will become happier. When you are on the path of achieving your goals and you're seeing that progress that you are working for, you will feel so happy and so satisfied. And that feeling is actually going to help you to be more disciplined and continue on working on your goals. So now that we know why self-discipline is so important and we also looked at the different benefits, it is time for us to look at some tips. Ladies, let's start with the first tip. Number one, and the very first thing that I want you to do is to know that you are deserving. And this one has to do with our beliefs, how we see ourselves and with our mindset. It is so crucial for you to truly feel and believe at the core that you are worthy and deserving of accomplishing your goals. You are worthy and deserving of everything that you truly want. Because without feeling truly worthy and deserving of achieving the goals that you have set for yourself, becoming disciplined will be very difficult. And I personally think that this is one of the biggest reasons why people are not disciplined. Deep down, they don't believe that they are worthy of having the things or experiences that they truly want. Because there is this gap between their desire over here and what they want over here with their heart. You first have to close the gap. That is why this first step is mental and so important. You have to make that shift for yourself first and start believing and feeling that you're truly worthy. And in order to support you with that, here comes an affirmation. I believe I am worthy enough to manifest my dreams and my heart is open to receive everything that I desire. Tip number two to become more disciplined is to have your goals visible. Make your goals come to life and make them visible. This can be done with the help of posters, your laptop screensaver, your phone screensaver, or have affirmations in quotes hanging in your home in nice frames. You can also create a vision board that you can look at daily. Or another very powerful thing that you can do is to write out your goals and read them every single day. This is a great way to make your goals come alive. And this will not only keep you motivated, but it will also help you to change your subconscious mind into finding ways to attracting these things into your life. Because we attract what we think about the most. Number three, take small actions. One very important thing that you can do to become more self-disciplined is to take small and easy actions 
on a consistent basis because you don't want to be overwhelmed by a big project and end up being stuck and not doing anything. Instead, go with small actions that are easier for you to do. For example, do you need to write a report or an essay? Start with just writing one paragraph. Or do you need to do your taxes? Just do your taxes for five or 10 minutes. Opt for small and easy tasks. Tip number four, use the power of three. This is a great method to use when you don't feel like doing something and you can't find that drive, but you still want to give yourself that push and do something. Well, then I suggest that you use the power of three. And the power of three is very simple. You want to create three simple, small action steps that can get you closer to the goal that you have. Let me give you an example. If you want to lose five pounds, for example, something small and easy that you can do is to get rid of all the food in your house that is not healthy. Another thing that you can do is to go outside for a walk and get 5,000 steps. Another simple thing that you can do to reach your weight goal is to find some recipes online that you can start making. There are so many small and easy things that you can do in the moment that can help you achieve your goals. And that is the power of three. This also is going to help you to create momentum. And ladies, now I would like to hear from you. What is a simple step that you can take today that can help you to get closer to the goal that you have? Number five, swallow the frog first thing in the morning. The task on your to-do list that bothers you the most needs to be done first thing in the morning. And that's called swallowing the frog. If you don't swallow the frog first, you will likely start procrastinating or working on tasks that are not really important. And by doing the most daunting task first, this allows you to feel that you've accomplished something early in the day. Make sure that the thing that you're daunting the most is on top of your to-do list. Number six, know your weakness. What are the things that usually hold you back from being disciplined? Proactively combat your weaknesses. If you still have work to do, but you have multiple social plans for the weekend, you want to reschedule. If you need to study for an exam and you know that social media, music, and Netflix distract you, turn it off while you're studying. It's not about being strong enough to resist distractions. It's about being smart enough to remove them completely so there is nothing to resist. Don't get in your own way and acknowledge where you are struggling. This is a very important step towards improving your self-discipline. Number seven, let other people hold you accountable. We can all use some extra motivation and support from time to time. This could be family members, friends, colleagues, mentors, or a coach. And these people can help you to stay on track and motivate you, especially when things are becoming more challenging. They can give you feedback and they can help you stay focused. Number eight, plan for success. Use a planner or any type of system online that can help you stay on track. You want to write or type out your plan. What needs to be done every month, every week, every day? And one of the best ways to keep track is to have a planner. You want to plan for success. You want to write it out and have it clear for yourself what you are working on. Number nine, read books about discipline and setting habits. And I have three good book tips for you. Here they are. The first one is The Power of Self-Discipline by Brian Tracy. And it will give you 21 ways to achieve lasting happiness and success. The second book tip that I have for you is also by the author Brian Tracy. And it's called Eat That Frog. And it will give you 21 ways to stop procrastinating and get more done in less time. And the last book tip that I have for you is a classic. And I think most of us know it. It's Atomic Habits by James Clear an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. I think that reading book about the topic that you want to improve on, so in this case it's self-discipline, is a great way for you to improve this skill and build that self-discipline muscle. Number 10, to be more self-disciplined, is to reward yourself. And this one is very important because we like to look at the end goal. But in order for you to get to the end goal, there are small goals and small milestones that you need to achieve first. So give yourself the chance to celebrate and to be proud of yourself. Because the more you have to celebrate and the more you can reward yourself, the more you will be motivated and disciplined to continue. 
ladies, that was the end of today's video. I truly hope that this information was valuable and it can help you to really build that self-discipline muscle. Being disciplined is extremely important if you want to improve your life and become the next best version of yourself. So keep working on it. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you are so deserving and you are so worthy of all the goals that you have for yourself. Believe it, become self-disciplined and work for it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and to share it with someone that it can be helpful for. I would love to see you here next week, same time, same channel. Have a wonderful week. Bye ladies.